Things have been going well in some ways, but not well in others. And I think you can see here, the game's pushing back a little bit. We're kind of low on morale, low on determination, and we're low on health. And also, food is a big problem. We made a enormous mistake last time by not getting that cellar and wasting all of that gorilla meat. Now, we didn't know we were going to be fighting a gorilla. We could have been fighting a rabbit and gotten hardly any food. But that was a wasted opportunity. And now we're in a position here where it's not good to be low on food and health at the same time. We really got to deal with this food issue. Not to mention, we're going to be saving Jenny. She's going to be another mouth defeat. So in some ways, we're doing quite well. In other ways, we have some big big problems. And at the moment, I'm not quite sure how to deal <laughs> with any of them. Ideally, we'd go hunting again, but that gorilla destroyed all of our, our weapons, so we're down to a, a, a weapon level of one again, and that's going to be a really dangerous fight. Now, if we could get this spear, or even if we got the knife, that would bump things up a little bit. So we got some pretty big decisions here, and, and things aren't necessarily looking great. Now, the good thing about fighting that gorilla is we did get two of the four uh, uh, hide that we need. That's good, but man, we also need six wood or five if we can have the carpenter do her economical construction. So we're a little ways off <laughs> from winning the game. Let's see what these uh, events are going to throw at us. Bad fate. Well, that doesn't sound good. So as you can see here, at least we didn't get a storm, although we were prepared for the storm. We got one of those, which means you put one of these onto that deck. The next time you explore, regardless of what you roll or even if you don't roll, you still have to draw an event. Luckily, I don't think we're going to be exploring at the moment. So let's see what Bad Fate says. We're doomed. Well, this is this is lovely. If possible, draw cards from the event deck until you find an adventure card. Resolve it, except for the draw another part. Shuffle other cards back into the event deck. Interesting. Okay, well, this comes down here, and this falls off. So actually, the first thing that happens is we resolve the bottom part of this because it fell off. So that's actually telling us to put that on there and one on the gather. You only ever put one on, so that's fine. You, you don't have to put two on. And then that goes away. Now, I don't think we have an adventure card in here. Yeah, we've actually been pretty good about not putting adventure cards in there. That actually doesn't have any effect. Crying for help. If we put two here, we can discard this card. Otherwise, when it falls off, it'll be another storm. You know, we might be able to ignore that. That could have been worse. We only get one determination because of our slightly low morale, but at least it's in the positive production. Oh boy, what are we gonna do? I mean, look look at the state of the gather action here. Gonna have an event no matter what, gonna have to reroll a success, although, and this is something that maybe might be overlooked by people first playing the game, these dice are not all the same. They do not have the same percentages uh, across these different colored dice. So for instance, the gather action, you actually have a five out of six chance of succeeding. There's only one side where you fail a gather action. It's much easier than say the construction action where it's four out of six. Slightly more likely to fail that. You know, re-rolling that, you're still likely to succeed. But it's going to take two people to just do one gather action. Golly. Because of this token. Because <sighs> what we need to do is probably come down here and gather some food. This food is gone. We only have that one food. And you can't gather on this space. You know, we sort of gather those two during the production. So we can't gather again. So the only place we have to gather food is right there. We, we have two determination here. So we can get up to a level two... I'd like to build the knife. That would get us an extra one. The sling also gets us two more. I don't know if I want to use a wood for that, though. We really need to be saving our wood. And the question is, do we need to come here and deal with that? Because we'd have to destroy two sources. We don't have many sources out there. 
And we might be needing to gather those. So I think we do need to deal with that, unfortunately. That's a pain. <laughs> this game is... This game is brutal. It really makes you feel uh, hopeless uh, at times. Uh, yeah, it's fun. Now we have this we have this build guy here. So we can use him to ensure a build and that is gonna be very useful. And honestly, I'm I feel I'm feeling like the pit is really gonna be necessary. It's a gamble because you might get nothing. We also might need to sling. Unfortunately, the carpenter doesn't have determination tokens, so she can't do her economical construction. We need to get some more determination tokens up in here. Instead of the pit, we could do the snare. That way we're getting two food every production, for sure. And then possibly with the sling and the knife. Now we need the knife for sure. Let's just go ahead and absolutely get the knife. The soldier can come here and get the sling. She and the explorer can guarantee the raft. And the explorer comes here to get some determination tokens and to help our morale situation. I mean, we're gonna take a big food hit. Instead of the sling, yeah, instead of the sling, we could go gather. We need two to gather. We just go gather on that food spot. That's what we're doing. Whew. Things are getting a little hairy, folks. This is going to be... Oh, I was going to do this, though. Oh, I have to do this. Because we might need to gather on those wood spots. We're going to just have to take the hit. We're going to have to take the food hit, I think. Yeah, that, that's what we got to do. That's what we got to do. Okay. We have the shovel. One. We get to discard this card and get a termination. Okay. Here, we do this automatically. That's going to give us plus one. So we'll remember to get that. And now it's about this snare. And we got to roll for the snare. The good thing is that if she does this, she'll get two determination for, for doing her own personal invention. Ugh. All right. Well, that went south. Two determination instead of a success. Damage. And a card. And these are rarely good. <laughs> howling in the bushes. While working, you hear some scary howling coming from the bushes. After a while, the predator goes away. Shuffle into the event deck. <laughs> there we go. It begins, it begins, folks. So that was a failure. Not good. This is not good. Well, we get to do this explore automatically, but because we have to do this, we take a damage. Let the soldier take it. And we save Jenny. Bum -ba -da -ba. So we're gonna put her over there. And now the soldier gets two more determination and increases our morale. And I think let's go ahead and spend two. Get that up to two. The knife will get us to three. So now we're not as weak. Maybe we can go hunting next round. The knife. Ginny comes and she just hangs out here. All she's going to do is rest and eat. <laughs> she's just going to be a burden on us. Because we got the knife, we can mark off a couple of nice spots here. So the spear and the lifeboat. So we now have everything we need to win the game. Except for the materials. Okay, still no weather yet. Although, starting next round, we're going to have to start rolling that red one. And now the night phase. We're sleeping in our shelter, all nice and happy. That's all good. Food, however, is not good. We only have one and we have four mouths to feed. Well, right away, Jenny is not eating. So we're gonna give her two damage. I think the explorer is still the one who needs to eat. She's the lowest. 
So the soldier takes two hits and the carpenter takes two hits and we lose a morale. We can't have that happen again, but that's the end of the round. Going to round five, we saved Jenny. So, you know, we're doing, we're doing something. Explorer becomes first. Okay, so now that we have an adventure card into the event deck, what I like to do, because they have different backs, I like to shuffle them under the table and draw one at random. So I don't know what I'm drawing. And I'm gonna draw one at random. Okay, and I'm gonna do that each time. Chronic tiredness. That goes on there. This says, you can no longer work with an empty belly. Oh no. <laughs> During the night phase of this round, each player has to eat one additional food or gets a wound. Put the plus one food in the night space as a reminder. Well, that was about the worst thing that could have happened. Oh, also we should put this, because we're in round five, we're getting this red die here. We're gonna have to roll that. And one of the sides on here is the f is food. Destroys our food. A couple sides will take out one of our palisades. And one means we're going to have to fight a level three foe. Luckily, we have three. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. That was, that was about the worst thing that could have happened. Explorer gets a determination. And production. We're in real trouble now. So Jenny's just going to sit here. She's just going to heal one for her turn. We essentially need food and we need it now. Now the problem is we can gather here. That's one food, but we just have to fight. It really doesn't matter what that beast is. We just need to fight it. If we're lucky, it'll give us the pelts that we need. If we're not lucky... We're going to have to find the pelts somehow, some way. We need two more pelts, which basically means more exploring. We're not going to be able to survive that long unless we deal with this food issue. Now, the dam would give us two food right away, but we haven't explored enough. Yeah, things are, things are a little harrowing right now. We're kind of putting a lot of faith that that's going to give us two hides. And, I mean, that's a complete crapshoot. That could be anything. We're in a little bit of a pickle here. Now we have three wood. I don't think we want to spend any more wood. We need to get to five wood in order to build that lifeboat. How much do we just want to push for, if everything goes perfectly, we can win the game next round? Because we could just gather, gather, I mean, we could just gather like crazy. We have this one that was going to take one extra, but that could be all that we do. We could just hunt and then do gathers. Just hope to get everything we need. Because I, with this low health, I don't think we're going to be surviving for very much longer. I think we'll do one snare. So we're going to try to do the snare. We'll then do a bunch of gathers. I think we'll do a double gather here because one of them has to be a double. And then we'll do a gather here. And actually, let's do it like this. I think we don't have enough for Frenzy. We don't have enough determination for Frenzy. But we can spend two to at least get one more weapon level. So we are at four weapon level at least. And now, let's see what we're fighting. This is a, this is a big deal. Oh! That's not going to do it. A dodo bird is not going to do it. Well, we have the weapon level. We're, we're going to lose one weapon level. We get three food. Worst of all, no pelts. Oh, God. And because this was the last dodo on Earth, each player discards a determination token. And because the soldier can't, because she used it, loses a health, and we're down to zero. That, that hurt. Let's do this. We're still gonna have to roll. And because of this, we're gonna have to do this no matter what and re-roll one of our successes. We're just trying to get some wood here. Okay, so let's re-roll the success. Yes. 
And we have to do this anyway, regardless. Didn't take damage. We get a wood. And let's see what we get. Unexpected troubles. Well, of course. <laughs> you went to bring some resources, but you also brought something else. Bad news. Cover the terrain type. Mountains, hills, river, etc. On the tile where you are gathering resources with a black cube, treat this terrain type as unexplored. We've no longer explored that terrain type. <laughs> Good thing we built that knife when we did. So we can't build fire anymore. Now we we still got the knife and that doesn't affect any of that. Okay, so that could have been worse. Just means we can't build fire. But we've cleared this out now, so... Now we just get a straight roll to get some food. Yes! Blank, blank, success. And, oh, I made a mistake. I forgot she was trying to get the snare over here. So we should have done that first. Not too big of a deal. We'll just do it now. Okay, success. That's a blank. So, boom. She has built the snare. That's going to give us a plus one food token on our camp. So now when we do a produce, we'll get two food instead of one. That is useful. And... Jenny just heals one. That's all she does. Okay, everything comes in. Oh, she gets two determination for successfully doing her sort of personal invention. And now we have something to do during the weather phase. We're gonna be rolling this die. Blank! Hey, that's useful. What's not useful is the night phase. How much food do we have? Five food. The soldiers gotta eat too. I think Jenny's not gonna eat anything. So that's one, two, three. She's on death's door, but not dead yet. I think the explorer needs to eat two. Carpenter eats one and takes one damage for not eating her second. I could do the same thing with the explorer and that way Jenny only loses one. Yeah, okay. So the explorer doesn't eat her second. She loses one health. Two, three. Jenny eats, but not a second one, so she only loses one health. I think that's the most efficient way of doing that. Okay, we didn't lose any more morale, which is good, because we're at zero morale. This can go away. And there we go. That was round five. We move on to round six. Carpenter's first. Okay, let's just do a little quick recap of the tragedy that just occurred. They were so close. They were hungry and tired. Look at that chronic tiredness. So hungry, weak, wounded. They go out on a hunt. They know if they can just defeat the right kind of animal, they'll be able to get the pelts they need to make the lifeboat to escape the island, get all the food they need to, to satisfy themselves despite their chronic tiredness. So they go out there and what do they find? The last dodo on Earth. <laughs> they can't get anything off of that. They can't get enough food, but they're so hungry, they're forced to kill it. And it just completely destroys their morale. There's so many different animals that could have been where we win the game. If we got two pelts off that animal, we would be able to instantly win the game right now. But unfortunately, because we're two pelts short, that is a lot. And survival at this point looks pretty grim. We have to get out of here by round eight or we lose. The hurricane comes and we're destroyed. So this is a pretty low point. This, I'm, our chance of surviving at this point is pretty darn low. But let's see what happens.